Hi. I was in the shower this morning, just feeling so grateful for this life. Remembering that my first husband was a great teacher for me. And my second husband, <sighs> he's the best of the best in every way. I'm just so blessed. And recognizing how everything in life is such a glorious opportunity, really for more, for more openness, for more evolution, for more learning, for more creativity. And I was thinking about plant-based eating, you know, making the shift to plant-based eating. How can I inspire everyone who's curious to give it a try, to really see the opportunity that it offers in our lives, to give us more energy, to give us more clarity, to give us more confidence that life is supporting us each and every day. I'm just so grateful that I am living this way, that I made this choice for my betterment and for our betterment. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad you bring that up too, because uh, when I was hearing you say you, you want people to try the whole food plant-based for all of these reasons, I think what we really want to clarify is that what we want to promote is what gives us the greatest clarity gives us the greatest um, energy, gives us the greatest longevity. And we really don't have an investment in whole food plant-based. We have an investment in the best health we can have. Yeah, true. And so over the years, we just keep refining what we find does it in our lives and for the people that we work with. And it keeps pointing more and more toward whole food plant-based. Yeah, because, you know, I had this sciatica pain that was really quite severe for a few weeks. And it's gone. I'm so thrilled it's gone. I had a great physio who helped me with exercise. And I just know that this whole food plant-based foundation supports me to continue to return to the highest levels of health. And that's worth a lot to me, especially at my age. Now, you know, thriving as I go into my later years is a great, great gift. It's just the best. Yeah. And so along those lines, we listened recently, actually for the second time this morning, to Dr. Michael Greger's um, hour-long discourse on the research that's showing the greatest benefits to preventing, reversing, and treating the 15, well, yeah, yeah, the 15 uh, greatest causes of death in North America. So the Center for Disease Control publishes every year the 15 greatest causes of death, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, those kinds of things. And so what Dr. Greger does on this uh, video is explain the research that's showing what seems to work best to really help people um, prevent these common diseases that are leading to the highest rates of death and also to reverse many yeah, of them. That's what I think is so wonderful to see when we can reverse a condition through simply changing the way we eat. Yeah. So we've embedded it in the blog so you can watch it. Like I say, it's an hour long, so it's a bit of a, uh, you, you need some time. But we love Dr. Gregor. He's such a character. He presents the information in a rather humorous and entertaining way. Yeah, yeah, it makes it fun. So it, it moves right along. So if you feel to have a look, I'll just give you a, a couple of highlights. It's like um, for number one, the heart disease, more people die of heart attacks and heart related conditions than any other disease. And he was pointing out that the major um, 
influencer of heart conditions is dietary cholesterol, high cholesterol. And he talked about the 35 year study of the, it's called the Harvard, I think it's called the Harvard Nurses Study. There was 280,000 participants and it's been going on for 35 years. So it's the most significant research in terms of diet and lifestyle that's ever been done that, that, that anybody has published. <laughs> and what he liked about it was that in the, in the report, they didn't just talk about diet and lifestyle, they talked about different risk factors. So what are the different risk factors that attribute to heart disease? So we know there's a lot of different things. Um, our diet, exercise, smoking, all those things seem yeah. to contribute. Yeah. And we, well, I'll speak for myself. You've been down on eggs for a long time. <laughs> and I've never really had, I don't eat eggs. I'm not interested in them. But I've never had a real significant um, idea that they're really terrible. <laughs> so here's one of the things that comes out of the research study that the cholesterol that's packed in one egg, if you eat one egg a day, is the equivalent, the risk of having a heart attack is the equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day for four years. And it's like, that, that kind of opened my eyes. So there's a lot of interesting information uh, comparing risk factors that, that I found fascinating. So it's a great listen if you want to take the time, um, entertaining and full of information that we just eat up, so to speak. Yeah, and our hope is as you listen and enjoy and get inspired to try a plant-based diet and see the power that it can create in the body. And we'd love to help you. We're happy to do a free consult with you. We're happy to give you first steps you can do on your own. Go for it. That's what I say. Yeah, and, and I just want to add too that we, again, don't have an investment in whole food plant-based. We don't have anything against eating meat or other diets that are out there. We are just totally looking for what is going to give us the greatest health, energy, vitality, mobility as we age. We're looking for quality of life and longevity. And it seems to point us, we always seem to come up with the track we're on and refining the track we're on, which is whole food plant-based. So we have nothing against anything else. We just keep finding that whole food plant-based seems to be the answer that we're looking for. So that's what we share with you. And the answer that all the research is pointing to and so many prominent MDs now are promoting because they've found it helps to reverse and prevent so many conditions. Yeah, and, and I will bring up again too that what we have found over the 30 years that we've been helping people restore their health with whole food plant-based is that it's one thing to have the information about what to eat. And it's another thing to change old habits. So when Connie is offering a free coaching session, that's what the coaching session is mainly focused on. It's easy for us to give the information about what to eat, but where people seem to have the greatest difficulty in making the shift is just breaking old habits. And that's the main focus of the coaching sessions we do. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. Recipe. I'm going to give you a mung bean stew. But what's so great about it, it's usually made with coconut milk. And coconut milk is very high in saturated fat. Heart disease, think heart disease. Yeah. <laughs> so we've made a switch and created a cashew milk. You can make it home so quickly and easily. And then added shredded coconut to give that coconut flavor. It's really good and easy to make. So hope you'll try it and most of all, enjoy it. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. Lovely yeah. to be here with you again. Thanks. Have a great week. Bye. -dee.